Welcome to the homework for Lesson 2. This is Module 6 of Grade 1. Make sure you get your name on here first. And we're doing reading, drawing, and writing word problems. And this is an example of a tape diagram, just like the ones we're going to draw. We have to do tape diagrams or double tape diagram. This is what a, this is a picture of a double tape diagram. We're calling it because there's two pieces of tape. Lab we have to label the tape diagram too. And we need a number sentence and, and a statement with words that matches the story. Kim went to 15 baseball games this summer. Julio went to 10 baseball games. So let me clean this up so we can read it. How many more games did Kim go to than Julio? So Kim went to 15. So here's a piece of tape for Kim. And here's her 15 baseball games. Julio went to 10. 10 is going to be less than 15. And in our picture, we want to know the, what what's the more, how many more. So the 10 goes to here. And that's, if we think about this, that's about where it would be on the 15. So the 15 is, it's this much, that much more than the 10. And maybe you already know what this is going to be in your head, but that's what the picture has to be. So this is M, we can call this part here M for the more. That's the how many more we're trying to find out. And how do we figure it out? It's 15. The difference between 10 and 15, 15 minus 10, which equals five. Kim went to five more games. Oops. Then Julio. And you'll see that in, in all of these, there might be one or two sentences of story. A very short, just one or two sentence story, and then there'll be a question. In the question, you'll know which sentence the question is because it's the one that ends with a question mark, and it's usually the last one. The, so that's the that's the sentence. That last sentence is going to be the one that tell has all the words in it you need to figure out how to spell the words you need for your answer statement. And just read that sentence again if you're not sure what to write for your answer statement. Kiana picked 14 strawberries at the farm. Tamara picked five fewer strawberries than Kiana. How many strawberries did Tamara pick? So, okay, Kiana picked 14 strawberries at the farm. Kiana and Tamara are picking strawberries. Tamara picked fewer. Uh, and But we don't know how many she picked. Just that it was less than Kiana. But we know Kiana, we know what she picked, because it says right here, that's the first sentence. We're just going to draw the first sentence, draw what it says there is. Okay, here's Kiana. There's her 14 strawberries. Uh, Tamara picked five fewer. So here's Tam. We don't know how many Tamara picked. But it's going to be less, right, because it's fewer. We don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. And what we're trying to find out is what's the fewer. Right, well, the fewer we know, sorry. We know what that is, right? And there's a couple different ways you can draw this. But I like to think of it this way. If I'm going to use two colors, I'm going to think of take this end of it and try to match it up right there. And this part here, this part here is the fewer. The fewer is five because it says right there. So we need a five. And I could label it F for fewer. That's the five. Now, some people would, might want to draw 
a five here. But to me, that kind of, that's confusing. Because now it looks like Tamara picked the same as Kiana. So I'm, that's why I'm not going to draw the five more on the end here. I'm going to see how much of it, how much of the 14 this is here. This whole thing is 14. Get rid of that. And you can see what I'm trying to find out is what is this part of the 14? Well, whatever it is, it's it's five less than 14. So that's my number sentence. 14. What's five less than 14? It's 14 minus five. And if I'm looking at this, I'm trying to think how am I going to subtract it? I can take from 10, right? And think, okay, what's 10 minus 5? That's 5. And then add the other part back in. 5 plus 4 is 9. So that's 9. And now I just need my sentence. Tamara picked. Remember, this is the, the question mark right here. That's the part that shows you what you're trying to solve for. It, the picture should summarize the question. A lot of times, first graders will look at this, look at these questions, and they'll, and they'll think they don't know what picture to draw because they, they're trying to solve it first. Don't try to solve it first in your head. Just draw the picture and then figure it out. Tamara picked nine strawberries. Willie saw seven reptiles at the zoo. Emmy saw four more reptiles at the zoo than at the zoo than Willie. How many reptiles did Emmy see at the zoo? So the, we don't have a lot of room to work here, but it's it'll be enough. So Willie saw we're just right here. Two people went to the zoo. Uh, Willie and Emmy, and Emmy saw more. But we don't know exactly how many Emmy saw. So that's what we're finding out. So just draw the first, read the first sentence and draw it. Willie saw seven reptiles at the zoo. So that's what I'm going to make a piece of tape. This is Willie's piece of tape. And we know what it, what goes on it because it's the seven reptiles that he saw at the zoo. That's it. And now the next one, Emmy saw four more than Willie. So here's Emmy. And she saw more. So. Once again, those endpoints are going to match up right here. So, but Emmy saw more, so she gets a longer piece of tape because more is longer in tape diagram world. And uh, she saw four. We don't know how many she saw, right? We don't know how many that is. Don't know. But we do know how much how many more. So. This part of what she saw, we know this part is four. And because that's the more. And this part here, right, that's the same as Willie's seven, isn't it? So that's seven. So we know how much Emmy saw. We can figure it out because we just have to put this this seven together with this four, and then we'll know. So we're going to add to figure this one out. That seven plus the four. That's eleven. Emmy saw eleven reptiles. Peter jumped into the swimming pool six times more than Darnell. Darnell jumped in nine times. How many times did Peter jump into the swimming pool? Into the swimming pool. So Peter jumped in the swimming pool six more times than Darnell. We don't know how many times Peter jumped into the swimming pool. 
So we can, that first sentence jumped into this pool six more times in Darnell. So we have Peter's going to, Peter jumped in more than Darnell, right? We know that from the first sentence. I'm just looking at the first sentence. Peter jumped in more. Okay, so he gets a longer piece of tape. And Darnell gets a shorter piece of tape. Uh, Darnell jumped in nine times. So we know, okay, Darnell is nine. There. Uh, and we know the more. So Peter, the more, right, this, if they were the same, Peter's tape would end there. But he has more. So it, it's longer. So how much is the more? That's the, that's the more. We know the more this time is six times more. And what we're trying to find out is this whole thing, Peter's number of times he jumped into the swimming pool. That's what we don't know is the whole thing for Peter. Um, so what we need to know for Peter, we know this six, we know the more. And then there's this part here, right? If we knew it, then we would just add it to the six and we would know how many times Peter jumped in the pool. But we know we do know what it is because it's the same as this, and that's nine. So this has to be nine. So it's nine plus six. That's the whole thing. Nine plus six equals. And if you're thinking about making tens, you might make this six into a number bond for one because nine and one make 10 and there'd be five more, 10 and five, 15. Peter jumped into the pool 15 times. Rose found 16 shells on the beach. Lee found six fewer seashells than Rose. How many seashells did Lee find on the beach? Okay, so Rose found, we read it, now we're going to draw it. Rose's piece of Rose found 16 seashells on the beach. There's Rose's pieces of tape. It's got 16 seashells. Lee found six fewer than Rose. So here's Lee, and Lee found fewer. So it's going to have to be less. How many seashells did Lee find on the beach? That's what we're trying to find out. Now we know the fewer. Because if they were the same, it would go, it would end there. So if Rose has more, Lee has less. So that's what we're trying to find out. This is the fewer, this section here. And we know how much, we know how much that is. That's six, six fewer. So what we're trying to find out is what is that part there. So if this whole thing is 16, if this whole thing here is 16, and this part of it is 6, how much is, how much is this part? It's 16 minus the 6. Which you might be able to just look at it and see if there's going to be 10 left. Lee found 10 seashells. Shanika got 12 cards in the mail. Nikhil got five more cards than Shanika. How many cards did Nikhil get? All right, there's Shanika. Shanika and Nikhil found some cards. I have got cards in the mail. Uh, Shanika got, we know how many she got, and we know Nikhil got more. So here's Shanika. There's her 12. Nikhil got more. 
I could make that a straighter piece of tape if I really tried, and I'm going to try. There's Nikhil's tape, and he gets five more. So we know the more is five, and we want to know this. How many cards did Nikhil get? We know the five more. And this part here we know is the same as that part there, which means they're both 12. So we have to find out what is the 12 plus the 5. Seventeen. Seventeen cards.